The late, great Ray Liotta appeared in dozens of classic films, and though I haven't seen all of them, Karina Karina is one that too often goes under the radar. Ray portrays Manny Singer, who, along with his young daughter, has just lost his wife. Now, the film is set in 1959, and Ray's character Manny is a uh, jingle writer uh, for the Mad Men and uh, is in need of a nanny, eventually finding one in Corina Washington, uh, played by Whoopi Goldberg. The film uh, deals with uh, the grief that both uh, Manny and his daughter experience, and his daughter has actually stopped speaking. Um, And it's uh, Corina... uh, who is able to help her through this time and uh, eventually get her to the point where, where she is talking. But a lot of that um, is kind of running parallel to uh, the grief that Ray's character Manny is experiencing. And it uh, does a really beautiful job of having these uh, three characters' relationships move forward through this period. And I think... Uh, you know, it's a film that could have done the same exact thing had it been set in present day. Uh, but you know, I think the just the whole jingle having the because there's definitely a lot of jazz uh, mentioned, and that's part of uh, an aspect of the relationship that uh, Ray's character Manny has with Karina, and it's something that ultimately I think is able to help foster this environment in which um, Manny's daughter is able to fully come out of out of the grief. Uh, unfortunately, because it was set in the 50s, it did get mixed reviews that criticized the failure to fully address the complications surrounding a romantic relationship in the 1950s. Um, Roger Ebert Uh, confessed that he enjoyed it, but wrote, quote, seems almost as shy as the characters about the change or about the charged issues of race and romance. After it was over, I felt that, yes, it was warm and good hearted, but there was more of a story there to be told, unquote. Janet Maslin of the New York Times praised the actors and actresses for their work on it, but echoed a similar criticism regarding Manny and Karina's relationship Quote, the affection between them is evident, but not even by the end of her story has Miss Nelson decided what sort of affection it is. That may be true to life, but for an otherwise mainstream movie, it's trouble. End quote. Um, I completely disagree with that. I think, again, had it not been set uh, in the 50s, that criticism just wouldn't have been there, and you could have had the exact same film. Filmmakers wanted it to be in the 50s. Uh, for a a number of reasons. Uh, Jesse Nelson, who wrote and directed it, wanted that. And I think, you know, there's always a problem with any period piece because you're going to have those people talking about historical inaccuracies. Um, But it is a wonderful, warm film that really the focus is actually on Karina's relationship with... Uh, both Manny and his daughter, and how she actually helps uh, bring them out of the grief. And that's what's important. And it's just a wonderful film that Ray Liotta shines in, just as everything he's been in. And it's something that I think everyone should uh, check out.